Okay, so the next uh, static test we're doing today is a blood glucose test. Uh, you can actually get um, sort of home kits from local uh, chemists now on the high street. Um, so really every sort of trainer and gym has got access to doing this kind of test now. Um, there's a couple of ways of doing it. One is which you can fast for up to sort of 12 hours beforehand. Um, and this means that you should come out of a reading between four and six for current uh, guidelines. Um, if you haven't, um, if your client hasn't fasted beforehand um, and they've eaten within sort of a couple of hours, it will be a slightly higher reading, possibly up to 7.8 uh, to, again, to keep within current uh, guidelines. Okay, so hopefully the, uh, the client's hands will be nice and warm just to make it that little bit easier to, uh, to take the, the little bit of blood that we need. So uh, we've got the kit open and ready. So we're going to take this off first of all. And then if I could have your hand just slightly pointing down like this. Okay. And then we're just going to wait for a second just for the, enough blood then to go on the pH stick. Now we need to wait for approximately 30 seconds now for this um, before then we're going to re refer back to the chart and just see exactly um, what level Jess is currently at, okay? Okay, so 30 seconds has now passed, so we just need to wipe the, the strip here and then take a look at the chart and just measure up with the same colour on the chart to get a reading. So from this I can see that Jess is actually 5.1, uh, which is quite a good reading. Uh, and I'll be recording this onto her fitness test sheet and uh, we'll, we'll check again in about 46 weeks.